In this tutorial, we're going to take a quick tour and overview of the Giru software interface. You can see where everything is located and what these different buttons actually do. So let's start off in the upper left hand corner here. These are just simply the three main navigation areas of Giru. It's pretty simple. We have projects, the canvas, and reports. Projects is where you'll manage your different projects that you create inside Giru. And then when you click on one of those projects, you'll load it and it'll become the active project. And then you can go to the canvas and then you'll see that project's you know, diagram or whatever it is that you've built. And then you can work with it, add to it, whatever you want. So this left-hand menu here is just full of what we call our objects. These are the different types of objects. You can click and drag over to the canvas. And then, of course, build your marketing funnel diagrams with. Whatever is open on the canvas, whatever active project there currently is, when you click reports and go over to the reports section, you'll be able to run reports on that specific project. Up here at the top, you'll see scenario one. This is the default scenario for every project. Many of your projects will only have one scenario. So it's just whatever you're working with on the canvas and that's it. That's what you'll see calculations for and that's what the reports will be based on. However, an advanced feature is being able to use multiple scenarios. If you want to do that, you can click this little plus button here to add a second scenario. The second scenario is simply a copy of the main scenario. And then you can make changes to the second scenario, then go over to reports and run the scenario comparison report. And you can see how math changes in your business for everything, profit, revenue, expenses, traffic costs, whatever it is that you're working with, you'll see the report change based on those changes. For example, if you want to test what the outcome might be if you had changed your price from $97 to 147, you could do that with a second scenario and then run the report and see the differences in changing that price. But you can run a scenario change for anything that you can do inside Giro, any expense, adding traffic, costs, conversions, anything, adding an upsell, what the difference would be. Now on the upper right hand corner here coming across, these are the canvas level settings or operations functions. The first one is gear icon. This is for canvas level settings. You can set your merchant processor rate, your default theme color, uh, and some other things there. The next thing here is the selection tool. If you click that box, it allows you to then highlight more than one object at a time. And then of course you can duplicate it, delete it, and do other things with it. This next icon with the down arrow here is to create a PDF of your canvas. So whatever you've created on the canvas, you build, let's say a marketing funnel, you can click that and create a PDF page report of the actual diagram that you've built. The next button here is to toggle the grid lines on and off. You can say click that, it becomes an all white background if you wish to have all white, or you can have the grid lines on. Some people like them, some people don't, it gives you the option. That little eye icon is for a special feature we have coming soon. We'll cover that in a future tutorial. These forward and backward arrows are simply to step forward or backwards with whatever you're doing in the software. It's just a classic redo undo that you've probably used uh, in other pieces of software. So if you make a mistake, you can click the left arrow and go back uh, to exactly where you were before you, you know, added those things or made those changes. The plus minus is simply zooming in and out several times on the canvas. So if you want to make the objects bigger or smaller and get a you know, more broad overview of what you're building, you can just zoom in and out. This little down arrow is the kind of mini canvas preview. Once you start building a lot of things on the canvas, it can be kind of hard to keep track of where things are. So you can grab this little red box, drag it over to the area that you want to look at, and then the canvas, you'll notice the grid lines are moving right now. The canvas itself just jumps over to that area. So if you're not zoomed all the way out where you can fit everything on one canvas view, you'll want to use that preview to kind of jump to different areas. It's a convenient thing. Moving over here into the upper right hand corner, you see five icons. The first one, this little video playhead, that's for our tutorial section where you can find more tutorials just like this one. The question mark is the help section where you can submit a support ticket or any kind of bug report. The little bell icon is for news notifications. You'll see that have a little notification thing next to it anytime there's news we wanna share with you. The little person icon is to go to your profile page where you can change your email address, your password, things like that. And this other little power button is to log out. So if you want to log out of Giru, you can just click that. Over here on the right hand side, you'll also find our traffic sources management area. The zero, this will change based on how many active traffic sources you currently have set up. So if you have five, it'll say five. 
The gear icon goes into managing traffic sources, which you'll want to watch the tutorial video on traffic sources specifically because I go deep into how to use traffic sources. But that's how you can come in and out to add more traffic sources, delete them, manage them, so on and so forth. Below that, you'll find a summary area that just shows monthly visitors for different types of traffic sources as well as your total. Then you'll see our expenses area. You can click that icon to jump in and manage expenses as well as that little zero will change based on how many active expenses you currently have set up. You'll wanna watch the tutorial video specifically about expenses in order to work with those. But below that, you'll see a summary for your monthly expense totals, traffic costs, merchant fees, any other expenses that are set up, as well as the total. And then below that, you'll find our summary area. There'll be a pie chart here based on the data that you've entered. And Geary will automatically calculate these key metrics for you. You have your EPC, your CPL, CPA, and then of course your revenue and profit by month and by year. That concludes the tour, but that's a general overview of the Giru software interface.